This presentation introduces the study titled Parallel Monte Carlo Tree Search with Batched Rigid Body Simulations for Speeding Up Long Horizon Episodic Robot Planning. Monte Carlo Tree Search has shown clear advantages in solving long horizon optimization problems without extensive domain knowledge. This is true both for playing games like Go and for solving robotics tasks such as object retrieval. A key bottleneck in applying MCTS to long horizon robotics tasks is the need for a large number of physics simulations, which is time consuming, limiting its real time application to robotics problems. The combination of MCTS and Q learning has been used to accelerate the planning process by estimating the reward of a rollout using a neural network. In this paper, we explore a different approach. Leveraging the availability of powerful GPU-based physics simulators, including Isaac Jim and Brax, which enable simulations of many simultaneous independent systems. If we can combine MCTS effectively with batch simulations enabled by these new tools, then there is significant potential of speeding up the planning of long-horizon episodic robotics tasks. MCTS is inherently sequential due to its iterative nature. However, by assuming that different branches are independent of each other, we observe that a good level of parallelism can be introduced. In this paper, by combining MCTS and large-scale rigid body simulation with Isaac Jim and carefully introducing parallelism into the mix, we obtain a new breed of parallel MCTS algorithms that can effectively tackle long-horizon episodic robotics planning tasks. The concrete task we focus on is object retrieval from clutter a long-horizon planning task using push-and-grasp actions carried out by a UR5 arm. We formalize the task as a MDP to minimize the number of pushes needed for retrieving the target object. The push action is assumed to be a straight-line short push. To add difficulty to the task, the workspace is limited to a small confined space. Here, we show a demo video. The robot needs to find a larger number of short surgical push actions to free the target object and grasp it. A camera is used to observe the environment for each time step, and planning happens in the simulator. The best action is then executed on a real robot. To effectively combine MCTS and parallel physics simulation for solving long horizon episodic planning task, our system has several key components that work closely together. We have a grasp network that proposes grasp action for the target object, if any. If not, planning is needed to figure out the best push action. In the following few slides, we will describe each of these components. In a single thread, standard MCTS process, a leaf node is selected to expand. Subsequently, a child of that leaf is simulated to a terminal state. The reward is then backed up to the root of the tree. Node selection is the key to this tree search and is driven by the formula, which favors nodes with higher average collected rewards and fewer visits. We adopt a virtual loss approach to introduce parallelism into MCTS. In standard MCTS, Q, the sum of rewards, gets updated at the end of each iteration. The same applies to N, the number of iterations. To keep Q and N properly updated in parallel, a virtual loss can be introduced by assuming that no reward is obtained from all parallel iterations, achieved by only increasing the number of iterations but not increasing the reward. With virtual loss, multiple leaf nodes can be selected simultaneously. After many pairs of leaf nodes and actions are selected, we group them as a large batch and run the physics simulation in parallel, generating a group of child nodes. The number of the expanded nodes may be smaller than the total simulation resources we have in the GPU. In this case, more resources are assigned to higher priority nodes, resulting in better estimated rewards. This fully utilizes GPU resources to maximize computation efficiency. Similarly, if a simulation ends sooner, its resource will be reallocated. After batch parallel simulations are completed, backpropagation happens, and rewards are updated. We also need several other components that work in synergy to solve the task. Outside MCTS, we have a grasp network, with rotations, that produces pixel-wise grasp action for grasping the target object. The pixel with the highest probability is the best grasp candidate. The grasp network is needed for evaluating whether to perform the final retrieval. 
On the other hand, the MCTS process also needs to estimate grasp probabilities to decide whether a simulation thread should end. This is realized using a simpler and faster grasp classifier. Similarly, to generate action for each state, we pre-sampled push action for each type of object and only do collision checking that filters out actions that collide with other objects. This trade optimality for speed. We evaluate using 20 adversarial cases as shown. The center of any object cannot go outside the red borders, making the problem highly challenging. Compared with serial MCTS, our method achieved 30 times speedups. On average, our method uses about 9 seconds to decide one move. This is close to being real-time since each action takes about 5 to 10 seconds to execute. More computation time results in more optimal solutions. Here we show some demo clips of a real robot. The proposed method parallel MCTS with batched simulations is on the left side. The right side is the standard single thread MCTS. The model of objects is known, and planning is carried out in simulation. The sim to real gap is acceptable in this task. More information about the gap can be found in the appendix. The total planning time is counted, so our method only uses several seconds to decide the best action. More information can be found on our GitHub repository and source code to reproduce with Isaac Jim.